Picasso painting, which was stolen in New York City, has turned up years later right here in South Florida. Local 10's Michael Seiden has this masterpiece mystery. It's a wonderful piece, piece, and, you know, it's grown on me. It's an original Picasso worth nearly a million dollars, but tonight, this famous painting of his mistress, Marie Theresa Walter, is the main attraction in a legal battle. The owner of this prominent art gallery in Aventura squaring off against one of America's wealthiest families. In the lawsuit filed Wednesday in New York, billionaire socialite Wilma Tisch is claiming this portrait was stolen years ago from her Manhattan home. How rich is too rich to not know that your Picasso has been out of your collection for eight years? Kenneth Hendel is stunned by the allegations. The owner of Gallery Art tells me he first bought this piece three years ago from a private seller who originally listed in this Sotheby's catalog. In fact, it's even been on full display at Art Basel in Miami. I've shown this piece at Art Basel in Miami for two years and nobody said anything. But it wasn't until last week that the owner of this gallery told me that he shipped this piece of art to a friend in New York who was getting ready to sell it. That's when someone close to the Tisch family sounded the alarm. It was amazing to find out that Sotheby's vetted a piece that was stolen. And I just became aware of the situation yesterday. Ken says he did nothing wrong, vowing to do whatever it takes to hold on to this piece of history. I don't want to sell it. I really want to give it to my daughter. And I almost didn't send it. That was Michael Seiden reporting. And Ken says he plans on fighting to keep the piece, but he's decided to take it off the market until this lawsuit is resolved. Interesting.